Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel maths d 2 scientific academy today our lecture is related to uh, chapter 4 which is uh, expansion and uh, factorization of algebraic expressions and your book is uh, an sm2 t2 maths and uh, I'm going to explain you exercise 4a question number 8 Okay, so before starting the lecture, I would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel. Okay, part A is question number eight is expand each of the following expression. Okay, different expressions are given, you just need to expand them. Okay, so part A is a plus three b a minus b. So as here you can see that these are the two brackets. What does this mean? It means that you first you have to multiply this first uh, number with the whole bracket. With the whole uh, second bracket and then you have to multiply the next number with the second whole bracket you can take the practical example that let's suppose that you and your uh, you and your sister is going to somebody's home so first you will meet with both the members of that house and then your sister will meet with both the members of the second house just keep in mind this practical example and solve this as you can see that here this is you first you will move you will meet with the members of the house or the second house where you have gone and then your sister will meet, this is your sister, and then your sister will meet with both the members of the second house. This is how you have to remember this, and this is how that you have to do the multiplication. That's first we'll multiply the first number with the second bracket, and then you have to multiply the second number with the second bracket. Okay, G. now uh, multiply them. Multiply A with this bracket. First we'll multiply A with D and then with B. So when you multiply A with A, as you know that whenever you do the multiplication of the same variables, their powers will add. When you will multiply the same variables like this, so their powers will add. Here the power is 1 and here the power is also 1. So when you will add 1 and 1, you will get 2, a2. So when you will subtract a with a, you will get a square. Now multiply a with b, plus minus is minus. When you will multiply a with b, you will get a. Okay, in the same way plus plus is plus first okay whenever you do the multiplication remember that first you have to multiply the signs the numbers and then variables so i have multiplied the signs here with three bits plus and with eight plus signs. plus plus is plus and three one that three there is no coefficient over here it means the coefficient over here is what is coefficient the numbers which are written with their variables are coefficients so three ones are three and i multiply the variables b and a so whenever you do the multiplication of the variables while writing them always follow alphabetical order so when you will multiply b and with a you will not write b a you will write a b you will write them in alphabetical order first a come and then b comes okay you now multiply 3 b with b plus minus is minus and 3 ones are 3 there is no coefficient over here the coefficient over here is 1 okay students so now when you will multiply b with b b and b both are the same variable so their powers will add so it will become this power over here is 1 and the power over here is 1. So one plus 1 is 2. When you multiply b with b, b with b, you will get b square. So students now solve like terms together. Here you can see that these two are the like terms. So you can solve them together. What are like terms? Like terms are those terms which are having the same variables. And here you can see that both terms are having the same variables a, b and a, b. So you can solve them together. And write this a square and this b square. These are the unlike terms. Write them as they are. So minus plus is minus. So you will do the subtraction. There is no coefficient over here. So it, mean, it means the coefficient over here is 1. So when you will subtract 1 from 3, you will get 2ab. Write the sign of the bigger number. Here you can see that the bigger number is 3. So with 3 is plus sign. So you write 3 plus sign over here. Subtract 1 from 3 and then you will get 2ab. I write this 3b square as it is. So students, this is your answer. And I hope that this is clear to you. Okay, G, now let's move forward to B part. Okay, so once again, you will follow the same row. First, we will multiply the first number with this bracket like this. 3C, C minus 2B. And then you will multiply the second number with this bracket. Second number is 7D plus 7D, C minus 2 So this is how first you have to write them. Let's first we'll multiply the first number of first bracket with the second bracket. And then you will multiply the second number of first bracket with the second bracket also this is how you have to write them so now uh, multiply them three ones are three plus plus is plus okay so when you will multiply c with c you will get c square because any variables are multiplying so the powers will add 
Now again, I first multiply the signs with shapes as plus sign. So plus minus is minus. Now multiply the numbers. When we will multiply 3 with 2, you will get 6. 3 2s are 6. And when we will multiply C and D, you will get C. All the students in the same way multiply 7D with this bracket. When you will multiply 7D with C, you will get 7 C. As I have told you that always follow the alphabetical order by writing the variables. Now multiply 7D with 2D, D and D, same variables are multiplying so their powers will add. And what is the sign? Plus minus is minus. 2 7 is 14. And you will multiply D with D so you will get D square. Okay, so now solve like terms together as here you can see that, that these two are the like terms because these two terms are having the same variable C, D. So solve them together. This 3 C square will come as it is. And minus plus is minus so you will subtract 6 from 7 and you will get 1 c d students do not write uh, um, 1 with the variables because uh, without variables are if the variables are not having any coefficient it means that the, those co those variables are having 1 as a coefficient so uh, write the sign of the bigger number which is plus this 7 is plus sign so write plus sign and you will subtract 6 from 7 you will get 1 c d so you will just write c d and you write this 14 d square as it is I hope that this question is clear to you. Now let's move forward to C part. Okay, students, C part is 3k minus 5h, and uh, you have to multiply this with minus is minus 7. Okay, in the same way, first we'll multiply the first number with this bracket like this, and then we'll write the second number with the second bracket minus 5h, and the second bracket is minus h minus. So first multiply the signs plus minus is minus and multiply the numbers there is no coefficient with that so it means the coefficient over here is 1 so 3 1s are 3 now multiply the variables k and h so you will get k stress alpha and uh, i have told you that whenever you write the variables so you have to write them in alphabetical order so first h come then k comes so you have to write h k Okay, so now multiply 3k with 7k plus minus is minus. There is no sign over here, it means the sign over here is plus. So plus minus is minus and 3 7 is a 21. And when you multiply k with k, same variables are multiplying so their powers will add. So the power over here is 1 and the power over here is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So you will get k square. In the same way multiply 5 as which add minus minus is plus. When you multiply 5 with 1, there is no coefficient over here, the coefficient over here is 1. 5 1s are 5 and when you will multiply h with h, both are the same variables, so their powers will add. When you will multiply h with h, you will get h square. You know that students, if a variable is not having any power, it means that that variable is having 1 as power. Now multiply 5 h with 7k, minus minus is plus, 5 7s are 35 and when you will multiply h and k, you will get h k. Students now solve like terms together as you can see that this is like term and this is like term. You can solve these two terms together and these two terms you will write as they are. So first write like terms together. Minus 3hk plus 35hk. Now write these two terms as they are. Minus 21k square plus 5x square. Minus plus is minus so you will do the subtraction. When you subtract 3 from 35 you will get 32. You have to write the sign of the bigger number. So the bigger number is 35 and with 35 is plus size. So no need to write plus sign as the star. So 32 HK minus 21 K square plus 5 H square. So this is your answer. Students remember that you can write this as it is and you can write 5 H square minus 21 K square plus 32 H K. You can write in both ways. Both ways are right ways to write. Okay, I hope that C part is clear to you. Let's come to D part. Okay, students, in the same way, first, okay, students, D part is 7M square plus 2M minus 4. So, first multiply this first term with this whole bracket. So, you will get 7M square M minus 4. In the same way, multiply 2 with this bracket. So, you will get plus 2M minus 4. Okay, now multiply them. When you multiply 7M square with them, you will get 7 cube. Students, whenever you multiply the same variables, their powers will add. As when you will multiply m square with that, both are the same variables, both are m, so their powers will add. The power over here is 1 because there is no power, that so means that it is having 1 as power. So when you will add 2 plus 1, you will get 3. So when you will multiply m square with them, you will get 7m cube. 
in the same way multiply 7 with 4 so minus plus minus is minus 4 7 is 28 and square now multiply 2 with them we will get plus 2m and minus 2 fours are 8 students you can see that all these four terms are different so these are unlike terms so you cannot solve unlike terms so you will stop the sum over here and this is your answer okay so i hope that today's lecture is clear to you to the practice of these sums and when you will do the practice then this concept will be more clear to you and uh, take very good care of yourself and Allah Hafiz.